Good evening and welcome back. So, as you can tell by the title, we've got an Amazon wig review. And if you do like these reviews, my name is Kaya. We do a little bit of everything over here. Hence the word Kaya Simon's Life, teen news reacts, drama hauls, dog stuff cooking, and everything in between. And I did film the infamous TikTok cherry tomato feta pasta, so I'll be getting that out. But... I like wigs and it's, you know, my hair is very thick and very dry, so my hair doesn't take color really easy, so I really like the option to be able to wear different colors, you know, without really having to put my hair through the trauma of, you know, the different colors, and not only that, my hair really doesn't take color good. Tried to dye it when I was young and did it for a pageant and prom, and it absolutely turned out golden and it was absolutely terrifying. So remind me if y'all want to see that picture, I'll dig it out and we could do some like old scrapbook things. But yeah, so it looked horrible. It was kind of like the gold beat, like that you see when people's hair take it wrong and it turns gold. So let's get into this wig. We've got a chain to review from Jacqueline Roxanne and then we've got a new product from Tower to review. So again, my name is Kaya. Subscribe. Shoot me a thumbs up. None of this is sponsored. I did purchase all this with my own money. So let's go ahead and get into the wig first, and I'll tell you over here on my notes where this wig, it is from Amazon, but the company. So this wig came, and it was sold by the company Soft Queen. There is tons of companies. This is the P.I. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. <clears throat> Goodness, the first video I'm like. So I wrote this down. That way, I know sometimes it's hard to find Amazon descriptions. This is the P-I-A-O-U Ombre Purple Wigs for Women. Long, wavy, synthetic, and again, soft queen. I paid $22.89 for this wig. Now, sometimes there are coupons out. So look for coupons. You get little like $2 off, $3 off, 10%. So when I purchased this at the time, again, it was $22.89. So, I will show you how it's kind of, I flipped it around over here. This is the part, but it does part right in the middle. And I think this would be a great wig for Halloween. This would be a great wig. I'm going to show you options with some hats. You could do like a trucker hat or something. But here is the part in the middle here. Um, the only thing I don't like is this right up here, as you can tell. But other than that, I mean, it's $23 and some change. You can't go wrong. So I'm going to bring you guys down a little bit. So it kind of fades from a dark brown, I would say, into like a purple, then to like a gray, like an ombre effect. And it's got a lot of wave, a lot of bounce, a lot of curl. Let me kind of pull back here and stand up and really show you. So, I'll turn around to give you now. Yours might not look like this depending how long your hair is. I've cut a clip in the back, so, you know, just bear with me. I'm going to do a couple videos tonight, so I'm not really going anywhere. So, in a perfect world, I would really style this. It's long enough you could do some braids. You could kind of pull it up, you know, maybe... You know, just kind of work with it, but that's with any wig. But I do really like it. It's very, very soft, I will say that. And uh, let me turn around here and really show you the back of it. So here's the back. I'm hoping you guys can see. Again, really a lot of bounce. A lot of, I think it's a good amount of hair for $23. So I just paired it with, you know, nothing special. I got a nice real chain here. And then I got the Jacqueline Roxanne. We'll get into that. And, you know, I just paired it with a gray dress. I thought, you know, what can I wear this with that it's not going to be too much with this wig. And I think this charcoal dress goes really good with it. The dress came from Target. It hits a little above the knee, not too short, and it's just kind of like a tank top dress. So these come in many different colors. We review them all the time. Old Navy has them. Target has them. So you can dress these up, dress them down, put a belt on with them. So let's get back to the wig. And I thought... I think this is a good quality wig. Like I said, the only pet peeve I got is kind of this up here. But again, so what I did was, was kind of flip this to the side to kind of deter away, 
you know, and kind of not make it look so wiggy. Now, let's go ahead and style it with a hat. Like I said, you could do a trucker hat. You could do a, I think this is going to be absolutely cute. Winner, this would be a great cosplay wig for the price point. But let me go ahead and show you guys with our bat hat over here. A little bit of fuzz. And uh, I love this hat. This came from Dolls Kill. You guys know it says shit. And it's our bat hat. And yeah, so check this out. I think it's absolutely cute with the hat. It really covers up that bump right there. And it's super cute. So I think this would be a great for a Halloween look. If you did like a witch costume, like a light blue or like a magic... Um, like a witch or like, you know, a magic. Listen to me. I'm all over the place. So it is kind of got, I'll take it off here in a minute, but I wanted to show you with the style with the hats. You could do like a lovely, if I can get it on. I got this hat. It's a kid's hat. But with a nice pastel look and it really just kind of gives it more of a natural-esque look and, you know, you don't have to worry about that top part. But is that not cute? So, I think it's cute. Like I said, I don't want to keep saying for the price point. But wigs can get really expensive. And just kind of play with it. But other than that, I think it is absolutely adorable. Slap this thing on with a hat. A nice scarf. I got like a cool Louie scarf. The multicolor Louie one. I think that would look good. But it is very soft. Now, I did pull out a little bit of looseness. I would say probably about an estimated... I would say probably 10 strands. Just kind of working through it with a little bit of a comb. Um, I haven't put any product on this because I really wanted to show you guys in the fullness of what it looked like. So let's go ahead and take the wig off. And I do have a wig cap one that I'm losing quickly. But um, so here is the wig on the inside. It does have adjusters. That's what these are over here. The snaps, you can adjust it. And it's got the little thing. It's got this inside. Uh, this is pretty comfortable, I have to say. It's got kind of the Velcro that if you wear the wig caps that have the Velcro. And here is the wig and its fullness. It's raining, y'all. And I just love the sound of rain. But yeah, so here's the wig again. And its fullness again. Here's the scalp. Looks pretty natural. Again, you could always take like a eyeshadow or like a hair fibers depending on your scalp is so let's go ahead and throw this back on and you just put this up bring it up to your real hair let the air the our uh, ears breathe my hair is wet i just got at the shower so finally i can take these braids out i know you're like kaya come on us like guys i got a couple things to review so yeah, it's pretty good quality. Like I said, it's got this little back part here to not scratch your neck, the little front part, and here we go. So you just want to kind of just kind of give it a little bounce, boom, throw it on. Now, in a perfect world, if I was going somewhere, I would, you know, put the snaps, but here we go. Try to bring it up to the scalp line over the ears. And then, like I said, I just kind of, you know, in a perfect world, if I was going somewhere, I just kind of folded this over for the part, but I would particularly myself use this as a winter fall wig and I would just really wear the hats with it. But I think for the price point, again, it's pretty cute. So I like it. I Like I said, I'm going to give this wig a five out of five for the price point. Um, the other thing, like I said, just this right here, but you guys, again, this isn't, you know, a two, three hundred dollar, four hundred dollar wig. I wish I had. I used to have some really cool colored wigs and throughout moving around and different things, but you could style it any way you want. You know, you could keep the part. I just kind of did this to really just kind of give it a more natural look. Okay, so let's get into the new product that I got to review and then the Jaclyn Roxanne necklace and we will move right along. But yeah, you really just got to kind of work with wigs and like I said, there's no product in here, no oils or anything, no hairspray. And um, again, this is synthetic. So moving right along to the Jaclyn Roxanne. This is the Mary Coin. This is the box that it came in. I do like the packaging. Now... 
Here's the deal with Jacqueline Roxanne. I have had some hits. I have had some misses. I was not going to buy anything else. And then I got a survey and I was like, okay, I'm going to wait for a sell. I'm going to wait for free shipping. So this is the Mary coin and on it, it just has a little rhinestone. It's really having hard for you guys to pick up. This is again in rhodium. And it's kind of got the Mary, if you can look better on the website, so it's kind of got a Mary here, and then it's got a little rhinestone. It's really struggling to pick this up. And then I do like that she has the eyelets back here to give you, you know, do you want to stack these and different sizes. So you've got one, two, three, four, so you can make it tighter. And then it's got the little Jacqueline Roxanne thing here. And then it's got a lobster claw. But again, this is just costume jewelry. And that is the Mary coin. So like I said, I wasn't gonna pick up any more pieces. I do have a video that I'm gonna drop that shows a couple products that I had trouble with. And then this is real, I just stacked this with the real Cuban that I have. And um, so you can really play around with your jewelry and just kind of stack. Now, what I do like about her pieces is they are easy to get on. And you could, like I said, you could bring it up, you could bring it down, whatever you wanted to do. But just be careful. And I will say the customer service is pretty good. Any pieces that I've had, I've gotten refunded. I sent them back. And I think that's maybe why I got the survey. Don't quote me. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to get this back on right quick so we can move forward to the beauty product that we have to review. Okay, well, I'll fix that after the video. I don't want to keep you guys forever, but you get the gist. You can take some real pieces. You can layer them with some costume pieces, however you want to do it, and just play around. And, yeah, so I like it. I think it's just a nice... Like I said, you know, you don't want to wear this in the pool. You don't want to wear this swimming. You definitely don't want to wear this to work out. And um, I dig it. I think it's cute. So that is the Mary coin. All right, let's move on to the beauty product. Oh, the wig did come. I wanted to show y'all. It had a little bit of tissue paper stuffed in it. And then it did have like the lunch lady cap to kind of can sell it. And then it was in a plastic bag here. I'll show you. I got to be careful. Um, it didn't come. My address is on it. So that's what it came in. Just a zip bag. And that's all it came in. It didn't come in a bag. It didn't come in a box. But that's okay. Less work on the environment to get rid of packaging. So that's how it came legitimately. And then it had a tag on it. Which is nice to know that it was fresh and clean. Nobody wore it. Nobody returned it. Okay. Let's move on. I'm going to pull y'all up and kind of show you this broad broady beauty product that we have to review and what I think of it and what I was kind of looking for. So I had been looking at Gucci for like a clear balm, kind of like an all over, like a clear all over balm is what I had been looking for, but it kept selling out and it was like 30 something dollars. And I was like, man, I really don't want to spend 30 something dollars. So I found this the other day at Sephora in my cools. And this is by Tower uh, 28. It's called the Super Dew Shimmer Free Highlight Balm. And the price point for this was $18. Now, you can use like Kohl's gift certificates. You cannot use your Kohl's cash or any Kohl's coupons in Sephora. But you can use your Kohl's card. <clears throat> excuse me. And you can use like Kohl's gift cards. So, that's good. Now, you can also link your Kohl's rewards with your Sephora rewards, so that is good, too. So, let's go ahead and get into this. I like just minimalistic package. I like it's just smooth, simple, to the point, and this is just very easy. Uh, the color is no shade, and it says, it's okay to be sensitive, and here we go. So, this is kind of like a all-over balm, like what it says, like a shimmerless highlight so here's the packaging now you will see i did use this i've used this like two or three times now i like to kind of show you guys sorry y'all i'm still getting used to this wig okay 
So what I did, I went a little bit up here. Now, minus the glitter is from my eyes. The last step I did was the silver, and I used the um, Scott Barnes. And I, unfortunately, have glitter everywhere, but that is what the silver is. So, again, this doesn't have glitter. Um, it says, Super Dew, no shade. And it just kind of gives you like a clear, dewy effect. I put a tiny bit on the nose and a tiny bit up here where you would put highlight at. Now, you could put a little dab on your lips if you wanted. And here you go. And it is literally just a smooth. I'll put some more in to really show you guys. It's just kind of like a glassy, dewy effect. I like the packaging. Easy, simple, nice, sturdy. And I'll show you kind of what I did. I just kind of went up here. And as you can see, just kind of pat it in a little bit. You don't want to do too much because you don't want to look greasy. But look at that. When the skin, or I mean when the light hits it, I went, you know, I've already got some on. But let's do this side here. And you can just kind of see. You know, again, there's no glitter. It's just for my eyeshadow. But... Just a little bit, just kind of tap, 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 pat, pat, pat. And it gives you that kind of gleam, glistening, kind of dewy effect. And that's kind of what I'm into lately is just kind of like a minus today's eyeshadow look and today's lip look. Just a little bit more minimalistic, a little more easy. You could put this on with some tinted moisturizer and boom. Or you could just put, you know, do a no makeup look and, um... So, I really like this. I haven't had any problems with it. Like I said, I'm sweating, so don't mind me. I'm getting a little bit sweaty with this wig on, but I like this product. I think for the price point, I think $18 is fair. Like I said, the Gucci version of this, I think, was like $33, $30 something, maybe $35, $38, don't quote me. And, uh, yes, yeah, so I think this is good. I really am glad that I got this, and I think that this, you could use this for so many different things, so... All right, y'all, so here we go. So that's the wig, again, non-sponsored, Soft Queen on Amazon, $22.89. Now, again, I had had my eye on this for a while, so, you know, the price could change. There could be coupons. The Tower 28 is a hit, and I do like the Jaclyn Roxanne Mary Coin from Jaclyn Roxanne. I'm in it. So, thank you guys so much for joining me. Like I said, you know, this is kind of just like a... Get used to it. Work it around. It, it still looks kind of wiggy right now. But I think this is an absolutely cute wig for Halloween. I think it really looks cute with the hats. That is probably my favorite way to do it. If I can get it on right quick before we go. But uh, yeah, make sure you strap the back in. Like I said, if I was going somewhere. But tell me that is not cute with the bat hat. And yeah. It's just a lovely, just ombre wig. So, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Kaya. Make sure you subscribe. Thumbs up if you like these random little holes. I know I'm always all over the place. You never know what you're going to get over here. So, have a great day, great night, and I will see you back again. Leave me a comment, y'all. What do you think about the wig? I dig it. Have a great day, great night, and Kaya is out.